All right, back My in man. the zone now, Kevin McCarthy. What's going on? Ah. Joining us now. There it is. How you doing, Joseph? I'm good. And, and look, oh. we're gray suited today. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. You would think we planned this, but no, but we did not. We just it was I was I didn't even universal. That. It was the universal. You know what it is? Because I'm using top sheets now or flat sheets there on my bed, See? and I'm wearing undershirts. Joe speaks to me through. See, I through told you there was a benefit. Okay, yeah, I don't know what I missed with that, that conversation. I'm going to need to be brought up to speed oh, yeah. later on that one. For months and months, yeah. uh, they made fun of me for not having a flat sheet flat on my sheet. bed or wearing an undershirt. So uh, now because he does of Joe both. and Marina and the show, I'm now wearing them all the time. Well, there you and go. see how we Life's coordinated. Life's changing not here on DMV, though. Who knew? changed everything. All right, so you talked to somebody. You were bringing us another interview with another director, right? Yeah, so basically Antoine Fuqua is one of my favorite filmmakers. Uh, he directed Training Day. Yeah. He directed the first Equalizer, second Equalizer. He did a movie called Shooter, which was fantastic. Basically, so the Equalizer 3 is hitting theaters September 1st and bringing back Denzel Washington. But me, for me, more importantly, this is a reunion of Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning. You might remember a little yes. film. Yes. A little film in the early 2000s, one of my favorite movies that Denzel's ever done called Man on Fire. Yes, indeed. Directed by the incredible Tony Scott. So what's really cool about that, if you haven't seen that movie, basically in that original film, Man on Fire, Denzel's character is trying to protect and look for Dakota Fanning's character who's been kidnapped. Now, this is obviously a different movie. This is the equalizer all these years later, but we're seeing Denzel and Dakota back on screen. So I spoke to Antoine Fuqua all about that, how weird it is that him and I are doing press without Denzel and Dakota Fanning and more, and more about the themes of the film, The Equalizer 3. Here's Antoine Fuqua, one of the best filmmakers working today. Take a look. Uh, there's a line that uh, in the film that I, I think is also fascinating. It's in the trailer as well, about the idea of, because because of these people, I'm starting to understand real people. And I, I, I found that really interesting that he says that because I wanted to ask you as a storyteller and as a director who gets to tell stories for a living, how that's deepened your understanding of people uh, and kind of how you interact in your own life with other people and like kind of like being a storyteller and how that affects the way you interact. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting. Good question, man. It's it, I'm learning, right? I'm, I'm evolving and learning, you know, and you... You know, you go through certain stages in life where, you know, what we consider real or what we consider sincere or genuine changes based on our experiences, right? So you, you meet someone, they're great, they're, they're interesting, and then you meet someone else, and it goes deeper, hopefully, and then it goes deeper. And then normally, and like in this movie, you meet some old men or women in this fishing town yeah. who move real slow and live a certain life, and you kind of go like, oh, man, I really need to check myself. You know, like, this, my priorities are a little screwed up, you know? So you start to reassess things based on the, the influences and the people in your life. But as a director, to be able to out, be out here talking about your film, but Denzel and Dakota and, and your cast cannot, does that feel strange for you? Yeah, it's a strange time. It's a strange time, you know? Absolutely. Um, I would love to have them here, and it's fun, and you have the, your, your, your collaborators uh, with you. But, you know, I understand it all. You know, I get it. I, I keep my focus on the film, you know, and um, wish for the best for everybody, you know? Yeah, because every time I talk to you for one of these movies, it's always been you and Denzel together, and yeah. that pairing has always been so much fun to me. And I have my original Training Day stubs from 2001. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been collecting ticket stubs since I was 11 years old, and I That's saved them awesome, all. man. There you go. Since you were 11? 11. The first one I ever saved was Die Hard 3. I have all of yours. John Q. Oh, yeah. that's amazing, Antoine man. Fisher, yeah. yeah what do you, like, just keep, and they're fresh. And the, keeping them man. in a box. They're in, a, they're in like, a, uh, like a baseball card collection. That's yeah. awesome, man. Interesting. Yeah. That's awesome. Have you ever run across people that do that? No. I, 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 I'm the only person that I think I know well, that does Now that you said it. Yeah. <laughs> on camera? Yeah, on camera. Five fifty for the ticket back then. You know, Man on Fire is one of my favorite movies of all time. Obviously, Tony Scott, one of the greatest directors ever. You know, yes. I miss him so much. Me True too. romance. And yeah, Dakota Fanning, uh, Denzel Washington relationship is really special in that film. And I wanted to know... What you, you saw in Man on Fire that you, I mean, I know they're different films, but like, what did you see there that sparked that? And kind of how did you continue Tony's legacy a little bit, giving us that, that relationship again? When I saw Dakota and, and, and Denzel, when they were, when she was young, it was just this, you could see that there was a real relationship there. You could see there was a real love that was developing there um, and how he was taking care of her. me knowing Denzel. Uh, watching that i know how he was taking care of her you know and i saw the moments you know as as they worked together and i could see the little bit of fear in her eyes because she's working with denzel washington you know so when i had a lunch with her i asked her about it she said absolutely i was terrified but she's very competitive and i saw that fight in her and i thought yeah it'd be great to get them together again 
you know, just that magic they have. And it was, I was 100% right. They love each other. It's great. All right, that is director Antoine Fuqua, uh, The Equalizer 3 hits theater September 1st. If you are a Man on Fire uh, fan, uh, you will get that reunion of Dakota Fanning and Denzel Washington. Also, uh, rest in peace to the amazing Tony Scott, uh, who directed Man on Fire, but also <laughs> Top Gun, Days of Thunder, uh, one of the best, Enemy of the State, one of my favorite action oh, movies. Oh, one Will of my Smith. favorites, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Gene so, Hackman and Will Smith. Right, and so yeah. Tony's legacy is still living on in a great way. Obviously, his brother Ridley Scott is continuing to be a great filmmaker these days as well, but uh, it's cool to see Antoine kind of C carrying on a little bit of that legacy, know. so yeah, dope. Yeah, equalizer dope, dope, three dope. next week. All right, looking forward Thanks, to it. Thanks, guys. Good All to right, see you Kevin. guys. Thank you.